Just take a minute to just still your mind and be as open and as receptive as you can be. Take all of your mind and just tell it, I am open to receive. I am open to the experience that this lesson offers. I rest in God. We ask for rest today and quietness unshaken by the world's appearances. We ask for peace and stillness in the midst of all the turmoil born of clashing dreams. We ask for safety and for happiness. Although we seem to look on danger and on sorrow, and we have the thought that will answer our asking with what we request. I rest in God. This thought will bring to you the rest and quiet, peace and stillness, and the safety and the happiness you seek. I rest in God. This thought has power to wake the sleeping truth in you, whose vision sees beyond appearances to that same truth in everyone and everything there is. Here is the end of suffering for all the world and everyone who ever came and yet will come to linger for a while. Here is the thought in which the Son of God is born again to recognize himself. I rest in God, completely undismayed this thought will carry you through storms and strife, past misery and pain, past loss and death, and onward to the certainty of God. There is no suffering it cannot heal. There is no problem that it cannot solve and no appearance but will turn to truth before the eyes of you who rest in God. This is a day of peace. You rest in God, and while the world is torn by winds of hate, your rest remains completely undisturbed. Yours is the rest of truth. Appearances cannot intrude on you. You call to all to join you in your rest, and they will hear and come to you because you rest in God. They will not hear another voice than yours because you gave your voice to God and now you rest in him and let him speak through you. In him you have no cares and no concerns, no burdens, no anxiety, 
no pain, no fear of future, and no past regrets. In timelessness you rest, while time goes by without its touch upon you. For your rest can never change in any way at all. You rest today, and as you close your eyes, sink into stillness. Let these periods of rest and respite reassure your mind that all its frantic fantasies were but dreams of fever that has passed away. Let it be still and thankfully accept its healing. No more fearful dreams will come now that you rest in God. Take time today to slip away from dreams and into peace. Each hour that you take your rest today, a tired mind is suddenly made glad. A bird with broken wings begins to sing. A stream long dry begins to flow again. The world is born again each time you rest and hourly remember that you came to bring the peace of God into the world, that it might take its rest along with you. With each five minutes that you rest today, the world is nearer waking and the time when rest will be the only thing there is comes closer to all worn and tired minds, too weary now to go their way alone. And they will hear the bird begin to sing and see the stream begin to flow again with hope reborn and energy restored to walk with lightened steps along the road that suddenly seems as easy as they go. You rest within the peace of God today and call upon your brothers from your rest to draw them to their rest along with you. You will be faithful to your trust today, forgetting no one, bringing everyone into the boundless circle of your peace the holy sanctuary where you rest. Open the temple doors and let them come from far across the world and near as well, your distant brothers and your closest friends. Bid them all enter here and rest with you. You rest within the peace of God today, quiet and unafraid. Each brother comes to take his rest and offer it to you. We rest together here, for thus our rest is made complete. And what we give today, we have received already. Time is not the guardian of what we give today. We give to those unborn and those pass by to every thought of God and to the mind in which these thoughts were born and where they rest. And we remind them of their resting place each time we tell ourselves, I rest in God. 